Hi YouTubers. I'm down the storage facility. There's a caravan there. There's Bertie in front and there's another caravan and other motimes. And I'm continuing on with this problem with mice. Now because I've run out of um, these grill things and uh, I've had to order some more. And due to the postal strike they did arrive and they arrived uh, the other day. So I'm down here now to finish off this job I started. And um, so I've got to put another one of these vents on, on here. I've pre-drilled the vent and countersunk the screws uh, as better I can so I can get that on. And then I've got to put some down here on the different things that, um, <laughs> openings, I should say, similar to that. There, there's lots of these openings in different places on this van. So I'm going to put grills on them and uh, hopefully it won't look too bad seeing all these grills everywhere. So you can see how many I've got and I've also got these little things. I don't know when I can use them. But these, uh, got quite a few of these. That will go on there because I've already got the screws for that. And it's just a matter of undoing the screws and fitting it in. One. And there's one here. They're not that pretty, but they do the job. And now I can lift this unit back into this corner. Now I put them to one side. It's very difficult working in a motorhome. There's not a lot of space for doing stuff. Right, put this down here. Lift this up. And this stops over there. showed you this before in a previous video uh, there's two sliding bolts that go in here in the floor down there push that one in can't get the thing under that way oh yeah that's one that's the other okay so that's in like that Oh, that's the mouse deterrent going off. I'll put this back in a minute because I've got to have this lot out. Right, that goes over there and then the cushion goes back on here. I've got to remove the cushions. Oh, let me turn these off. They drive me mad. Mouse deterrent. One at the front, one at the back. One in the engine compartment. Right. That's two. See, there's ones on the top here. So I could probably put one underneath. I don't know. Let's put this up. And you can see the ones there. Hopefully, you can. Okay. Oh, that will get one there. Let's take them off. Right, so that one's going to get one. That one's going to get one. <coughs> Those two will get them, and I've got to fill in that blank there. And uh, I'll do that. I've got to pre drill some little holes. Okay, so these lids have done that one that one that one and those two and uh I'll just show you inside here inside this cupboard you can see on the left there's two holes in this cupboard where a mouse could get through it's ventilation and there's uh, a gap at that bottom corner there I don't know what Tom pointed out, just there. 
and I'll put some wire mesh in there and uh, I should put two vents covers on there and you might say well how on earth do you open these these because the idea is you put your finger in the hole to open them I should put some little straps on the ends so that can be lifted some cloth straps so I can be lifted rather than put your finger in the hole and I'll probably do the same with this one we'll see that's the uh, diesel tank sitting down there which I actually run it on paraffin <laughs> Okay, I'll just show you this. This is where the vents are, and I put the covers on. Little bit of wood dust down there, pretty clean there. Right, I can put these tops back on. So, this I'll just show you this. That's where the cut down, put the torch on. Today. That's where the covers are. Okay, and the cushions. I'm not putting this one back above the diesel tanks. I've got to alter that. So this goes back in there like that, and these go on there, and then the covers. And this seat comes that way, the driver's seat. I'll just put the cover on there. Right, I've just uh, put the cover on roughly because I'm going to be moving over my tools to there because I want to put that cable or a cable under that cushion and I want to check what's going on under there. So, move my toolbox across. These are clean toolboxes. So. Okay, that's me drill box there's a row there and that's got to go back in there back home for me to make a plastic thing for it and this side let's pull this out okay let's lift that out empty now this all folds up it concertina this unit so you can get in this side door but for the time being, I'm going to put the water funnels and this adapter. And then I'm swapping the cable over from Bertie with this one. Because this one's a low temperature one. And um, at the moment we're using Bertie more than uh, we are Herb. Now this is the cable from Bertie the bongo. I don't know if you can see it's this thick iron stuff. It's very inflexible when it's cold. It's pretty useless to be honest and eventually I will change that but we can use that in her because there's more storage in here for it to just get thrown into this cupboard. Right so that's that done. Loads of little jobs today. can put that cover back on roughly that's enough job done okay what's next uh, next we'll see if I can get the heater out what I mean by the heater the fan for the dashboard heater um, in herb because I think that's where the mice are or have been because when you turn the fan on it's like grating Sounds like there's grain in the fan, and I'm not sure how it comes apart. Well, I'm back home now, and uh, one of the issues was I was trying to get the heater out, the, the blower unit for the heater in the motorhome, uh, the toll work. I couldn't get it out because I was lying on my side with me head and shoulders on the cab floor at the front under the steering wheel, and the wind it's quite windy today the wind kept on slamming the door onto me back so i gave up with that idea for today but i came home and i'm at home now and i've started work on this unit here 
Uh, the reason why it's shaped like this is because it goes against the side wall of the motorhome and this is shaped so it can have its second table sliding vertically down into where the diesel tank is. But um, for the time being I want to block that off so I need something that will adjust against the side wall of the van. Um, so using this white plastic stuff I come up with a simple idea is this and um, it's a bit rough and ready but it'll do for the time being and um, it's only a temporary fix so what I can do is I can put it in the van slide it across mark it and then I can cut a piece or I might just leave it as it is and as I say it just slides across about 20 millimeter roughly to block this gap here the thickness of the table and uh, so I've done that and that's the end of this video to be honest I think I've got as far as I can with mice prevention and um, please subscribe and like and uh, comments welcome